Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set views on the viewports and how to navigate the scene using the view cube. This feature only appears in the most recent versions of 3D Studio Max. Before we start you should have a previous knowledge about the user interface and how to navigate the scene. For this you can check my other tutorials on the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. Ok. As you know, when you start 3D Studio Max by default appears this four viewports. Perspective, top, front and left. Each one lets you see the scene from a different point of view, and you can easily change the viewport configuration using the window with viewport configuration. As I've shown you in previous tutorials, this window appears making right click on the button Maximize Viewport Toggle. And in the Layout tab you can select a layout for the program. And in each window you can select which viewport to use. So, in the big window, the perspective. In this one, top. In this, front. And left. When we click in the OK button, the layout configuration of viewports is applied, but this is not the only way to choose what you see in each viewport, in other words which viewport goes in each window. You can change the view for the viewports in many ways. One is making right click in the name of the viewport for example. In the perspective viewport, just make right click over the name. And then appear this menu. Here you find a group of options to configure the viewports. And at the top you find the list of views, just moving the mouse over it. So, shows the different options for the views. There is perspective, orthographic, front, back, top, bottom, left and right. And some others for special purposes, like active shade, track, schematic, grid, extended, and shape. See some options. Note that perspective has a sign at the left. This means that it is already in use. OK. The actual scene shows two T-Pods, one is close to us and looks bigger, and the other is far away and looks small, because the perspective, even when both have the same size. Now, we're going to select another view, just right click in the name of the viewport and move the mouse over views, and... Below the perspective, appears the orthographic view. The orthographic view is pretty similar to the perspective view, because both shows the scene in 3D, but the difference is that the perspective is the name set shows the scene in 3D with a perspective point, so the objects appear smaller if you are far away, and the lines looks like pointing somewhere in the infinitum. Just click in orthographic, and the view in the viewport changes. The orthographic view shows the scene in 3D, but without a perspective point. In the orthographic view, the lines of the objects looks parallels, and the objects maintain the size no matter the distance. Now, select another view. Just right click in the name of the viewport and moves the mouse over views. And click and choose front. As the name says, this shows the scene from the front, at difference of the perspective or the orthographic view. This is not 3D. In the same way you can select another view, like back view. What shows the scene from the back, is not in 3D either, is on 2D. Or top. What as the name says, shows the scene from the top the scene like if you are flying, and so on. As you can see, it's possible to select from many options of views for the viewports, but there's a quicker method to select a view. And is using the keyboard shortcuts, this allows you to quickly change between the views of perspective, top, left, front and bottom, if you press the key P in the keyboard. The active viewport exchange of view to the perspective view. C. If you press the key T, the active viewport changes to the top view. And now the scene is on 2D. In the same way, if you press the key L, the view changes to the left view. And, if you press the key F, the active viewport changes to the front view. And if you press the key B, the view changes to the bottom view. But exist another fast way to change the views in the viewports, and is with the view cube. The view cube is this. This little cube in the top right corner of each viewport, this cube have compass in the base. And this let you change easily and quickly the view in a viewport. For example to set the view of top, just click in the top of the cube. And immediately the scene rotates. And the view cube rotates, too. Note that the name of the viewport does not change. Well. And if you want to see the scene from the right, just click in the little arrow on the east side of the cube. And the scene rotates. But, appears tilted. To fix this, just moves the mouse over the view cube and in the upright corner appears two arrows, now click this arrow. And the scene tilts. Making click in the arrow you can easily change the view. To the front. Left. Back. Bottom. 
right. And there's more possibilities, because you can click in the corners of the cube to get a kind of isometric view. Like this. And making click in another corner, like this. Practically you can rotate around the scene. And there's more possibilities, making click in the edges of the cube. And this way, and if you need click over the cube and hold it. You can move the mouse and freely rotate the scene. Like this. And you can rotate the scene in a horizontal way, making click and holding. On the compass. When you move the mouse. The scene rotates. If you click on the letters of the compass, also changes the view. W or West is the left view. S or South is for the front view. E or East is for the right view. And N or North is for the back view. And as you can see, exists another possibility in the view cube. The home button. This button returns the view to the default view for the viewport. In this case, when you click in this little house, here. The home button, the view returns at the default view for the perspective viewport. Like this. If you want a different point of view, for your home view and a view cube, simply change the point of view, using any method you want. And. In the main menu bar, click on views. This shows a lot of options to configure the views and the viewports, but for now, moves the mouse over view cube. This show the options for the view cube. And to set the actual point of view as the default view of home. Just make click on set current view as home. And now rotate the view as you want. And. Click home, in the view cube and this return us to the home view what we choose. But we should check the other options for the view cube. So, in the main menu bar, click on views. And move the mouse over view cube. And, we found, these options. If you click here, this shows the view cube only in the active viewport. This one, shows the view cube in all the viewports. This, is like make click in the home button on the view cube of the active viewport. This too, changes the actual viewport to the perspective or the orthographic views. This is for set a new viewpoint for the home view and the view cube, as well as I just show you. This serves to redirect the front face of the view cube, as you can see the front face is now pointing the Y axis of the scene. This way. Now, let's change the direction of the front face of the view cube, just click on views. View cube. And click on set current view as front. And, as you can see. The front view of the view cube, now is aligned with the current view. If you want to restore the default direction of the front of the view cube, just click on views, in the main menu bar. Move the mouse over view cube, and. Click on reset front. This restores the original alignment of the cube. You see. The last option works to configure the view cube, using the viewport configuration window, and you can open it making right click on the button maximize viewport toggle. And choosing the tab of view cube. Or making click on views, on the main toolbar. And in view cube. And at the bottom appears configure, and click on it. At the top we found the display options, here appears this checkbox to disable or enable the view cube. If you disable it and click the button OK. The view cube disappears. Like now. To make it appear again, just open the viewport configuration window, click views. View cube. And configure. Click the checkbox, to enable it. Like this. And click OK, again. Now the view cube is working. And again in the viewport configuration window. The other options for the view cube are. To see the view cube in all the viewports or just in the active viewport. Here you can select the size of the view cube. I will select large, only to show you. Below this, you can set the opacity of the cube. 100% means this is not transparent. And other options, like snap to closest view when you rotate, fit to view on view change. Animated transitions and keep the scene upright. And the last is for change the angle of the north in the compass. If you change it to 180 degrees, the north that now is facing the back of the cube, will change to the front of the cube. And click OK to apply the changes. And is ready.